I've talked before about how Plex is a great option for sorting, playing, and streaming your media collection, but I've received numerous questions asking why someone would want to pay for such a service via the Plex Pass. So their team has reached out and wanted to sponsor a video where I explain just that. Let's take a look at the benefits you can get with your Plex Pass subscription. As an added bonus, I'll have for the first time they've ever really done this, a free three month code to try out Plex Pass for yourself. You can head on over to plex.tv slash redeem or the link in the video description and enter the code EPOSVOX into the gift code field. This will only work if you've never subscribed to Plex Pass before, of course, but a great option to try it for yourself. For context, I first bought a Plex Pass sometime around late 2012 or 2013. I had been using Plex for a while to organize my already growing media library and wanted to use the custom apps to stream to my Xbox and other things. They've added a lot of features since then. In fact, many of the Plex Pass exclusive features that I had are now free as they've added even bigger ones to the paid subscription service. Plus, Plex Pass subscribers get earlier access to beta tests and upcoming features and things like that, which is always pretty neat. Free accounts do get all of the basics, the ability to organize and stream a library of just about any media format. You can cast, fling, stream, all of those fun words, your media to your computers, mobile devices, smart TVs, and so on. They also have a tool to flag online videos to watch later in your Plex queue and create optimized, transcoded copies of your media files to more quickly and easily watch on your mobile devices or other specific devices. Sweet, free accounts, still good to go. The Plex Pass brings out some interesting features. Firstly, the mobile apps themselves are free to you, no unlock fees. Then there's the mundane features like automatic syncing of your phone's photos and videos to your Plex media server as a sort of straight backup to server feature, which is always nice to have. Lots of people want that and it's glad to have another option out there. You also get automatic pulling of trailers and extras for your movies library, parental controls, and multiple users to access your server. Always good stuff there. Multiple users is important for separately tracking who has watched or listened to what. For music, Plex Pass gives you access to lyric pulling for songs, automatic mixes, kind of like what Spotify provides, and specific mood mixes of your music, as well as full song ID lookup to pull all metadata for your music with high quality cover art. Two really powerful features of the Plex Pass that I like to recommend and utilize are the Mobile Sync and Cloud Sync tools. Mobile Sync allows you to sync specific media files directly to your mobile devices to watch while offline or without using up data on the go important for someone like me with a limited data plan. Cloud Sync lets you utilize your cloud storage accounts like Dropbox or Google Drive to load media files from if your primary media library is offline. A newer and potentially better take on Cloud Sync is the Plex Cloud tool. This eliminates the need for a home media server altogether and lets you utilize Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive storage space as an actual Plex server and run everything over the web. I have a full tutorial for this up on my channel. This lets you have an always-on, accessible, anywhere Plex server without the need for a NAS or PC always being online in your home. You just need the download speeds to stream the media files to your liking. For photos, Plex Pass gives you access to an automatic photo tagging tool, which uses image and scene recognition to help you sort and classify photos in your library. Pretty handy. Then we have the two newest features that Plex has introduced to Plex Pass, which have been making a huge splash, Live TV and Plex DVR. These let you use TV tuners to browse local TV stations and watch live TV on most devices, and even record shows, fill in missing episodes in your series, and even record broadcasted movies. It's a really powerful feature. I've also got a video on how to set this up in the description below with an HD home run tuner as well. Linked up there, up there, click them, you know where to go. These features just came out of beta and now support normal Android devices and Apple TV. Also, time shifting is here, so pause, play, rewind, fast forward, awesome sauce. Whether your library focuses more on music, movies, TV shows, or even photos, there are powerful tools available to you with a Plex Pass that really makes your Plex experience complete for a media server.
As I mentioned before, if you want to try these amazing features for yourself, head on over to plex.tv slash redeem and enter the code EposVox in the gift code field. Links and instructions in the description below. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome tech videos, and I will see you next time. EposVox is a Patreon supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.